Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at how to use the event system in React to basically make it easier to pass information from one component to the other or even to multiple components. So let's take a look at how to do that. So to get started, we're first of all going to need to npm install fb emitter, which is basically a little event system library from Facebook, which we're going to use to create our event system. So now we need to create a new file called emitter.js, and that file is going to create our little event system because we only want one event system otherwise we might get into some trouble so we're going to create it once in a file and then import it everywhere else now to do that we're going to first of all need to import event emitter from fb emitter and then we can just say export default new event emitter and that event emitter can now be used anywhere we are going to use it in one component but you could of course use it in multiple now we can just say import emitter from emitter and here we will now move on by actually giving our button which you can see right here, a little bit of functionality. So we're going to define an onClick event, and that onClick event is just going to run emitter dot emit. So we are now going to create an event. That event is going to be called button clicked, and it's going to get some data. In our case, we're just going to call this data value. You could, of course, call this anything you want. This is basically just the data that comes with uh, the event, so anyone that consumes the event can use it. And now we are also already going to create the consumer, because otherwise we won't see the event actually working. And our consumer is going to be a useEffect function, and that useEffect function is only going to run once. If you do need it to run multiple times, then that's not an issue, but yeah, just keep in mind that you should, of course, not let your useEffect run more than it needs to. And here we're going to add an event listener to the emitter. And that little listener is, of course, going to listen to a button clicked event. And it's going to get a callback with our data. And here we can basically now just say set count to the previous value of count plus data.value. So basically, we, when the button gets clicked, then an event is emitted. That event is going to bring the value to then this listener will get the value of button clicked and increase the count by that given value, which is 2, as you remember. So now, because React runs some code twice, you might want to also say, okay, const listener equals emitter, and then add some cleanup after you use effect. So this can be done using a return function, and that return function is just going to say, okay, listener.remove. This way you always only have one listener inside the use effect, so nothing runs twice, which might cause some issues. So now we got a listener, the listener increases our value, and if we now just head it back here and click it, it might work, it might not work, because we of course also need to display our state. So div count, like that. Now let's just head back, and as you can see, it's currently four. If we click, it becomes six, eight, 10, so basically it always increases by two. So I hope you're gonna use it and I hope you're gonna find it useful. And yeah, I also hope you're gonna have a good day.